Hello everybody and welcome back once again here to IndieSportsCrew.com and my Monday Night Reaction. I know I had a couple week hiatus. Holidays, I took some time off. I apologize for that, but we're back at it. Week 17 of the regular season and the Colts win again. They're hot right now. Third straight win. They beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 30-10 to and... They finished the regular season at 11 and 5, just as they were last year. So the second straight season at 11 and 5. AFC South Division champs and the number four seed in the AFC playoffs, which means you get at least one guaranteed home game. That coming up this weekend. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's kind of focus on what happened yesterday and just the trends through this three-game winning streak going into this playoff game that's going to be coming up Saturday against Kansas City. First of all, I have in my notes all capital letters with a couple of exclamation marks. Defense! Where's this been at? The Colts defense has only allowed 20 points total in their last three games. They gave up three points to Houston, seven to Kansas City at Kansas City, and then when they, and then yesterday against Jacksonville, they only allowed 10 points, seven of those points on a touchdown in the final minute when none of the starters basically were in for the Colts, kind of a gimme touchdown basically. And so the defense has shown up these last three weeks. They're getting on track. They're getting hot at just the right time going into the playoffs. What's made the biggest difference? Forcing turnovers. That's one big key. And not just forcing turnovers, but they're forcing timely turnovers. What I mean is they're getting turnovers that turns the momentum of the game immediately. Maurice Jones-Drew fumbles the ball early in the game yesterday. The Colts take advantage, score immediately, right away, right after that. You control the game from then on out. The big turnovers like that can change the, the course of a game. In Kansas City two weeks ago when they got that fluky uh, Robert Mathis strip, sack, fumble, interception by Jarrell Freeman, completely changes the momentum of the game. You go on to dominate the game against the Chiefs in Kansas City. Timely turnovers and taking advantage of those turnovers and that's an offensive thing but just forcing these turnovers has been key secondly they're blitzing more often and they're blitzing more often on third down Greg Minuski's done a great job of changing it up you know I don't know if they fell into a lull I don't want to say that but the way that they're blitzing right now they're getting a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks Alex Smith uh, uh, Chad Henney yesterday even back to Case Keenum who looked uncomfortable all day against the Colts three weeks ago now the blitzing and the blitzing effectively and uh, periodically surprising the quarterbacks has been huge. And then the third thing defensively, the improved play of Darius Butler, Jarrell Freeman, and Josh Chapman. Darius Butler has been filling in for Greg Toller. He's basically a third string guy at that cornerback position, but of late he's gotten hot. He's playing really, really well right now, especially the last three weeks. And even, he played decent against the Bengals. You don't want to go crazy about that, but he played decent in that game against the Bengals. A.J. Green, just a bad matchup for him, but no one on the Chiefs is going to overpower him. So that's going to be huge going into the playoff game. Jarrell Freeman finally looks like the Jarrell Freeman of last year. I think the injuries were catching up to him early in the season. He's playing huge. He's one of those reasons the blitzes are starting to work. They're bringing him on those blitzes, and he's getting to the quarterback more often than not. And Josh Chapman. He was a draft pick last year out of Alabama. He's been huge, and I mean physically and the way he's been playing. He's a big man on that defensive line, and he's really starting to stuff the run up the middle. That could be huge in this playoff push because now you're really starting to lock down, and we know in these playoff games rushing the football can lead to a lot of things. If you stop the run, that can also lead to a lot of things. Josh Chapman could be a big key. Offensively, you're going deeper into the playbook finally, Pep Hamilton, and it's been awesome. You're changing your formations, you're moving guys around, you're getting T.Y. Hilton and your other playmakers in positions to make plays. Those playmakers right now, T.Y. Hilton, uh, Kobe Fleener, and, and uh, uh, Brown, the running back. you got to put these guys in positions to make big plays, and they've been moving guys around and they're able to do that, and that's been huge. Second thing... Andrew Luck pr looked pretty sharp yesterday uh, against Jacksonville. That's the sharpest and the best he's probably looked since that Denver Sunday night game. And so that's a big key. Maybe he can get hot at the right time with the playoffs on the verge of starting. And then let's just look at a couple of stats from yesterday. Andrew Luck goes 26 for 37, 282 yards and a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, 11 catches, 155 yards. And he was huge on third down, which we always know is going to be key in 
any game, especially a playoff game. And just a little bit of a side note, I don't want to overlook this guy right now. He hasn't been huge, but he's been very productive. That's Griff Whalen. Two nice games in a row. He's been solid. He's a good third down guy. And right now he's reminding me of kind of a Troy Brown. Remember Troy Brown from New England? That guy, that little pesky short guy. And on third and six, he would find a way to get open and, and get a seven or eight yard catch. He's not going to blow by you with his speed, but he's going to make those those catches across the middle. Griff Whalen is kind of filling that role. I don't know if he's going to have as long a career and if he's going to play defense like Troy Brown did, but he's been solid so far. We're going to have another uh, <coughs> video coming up. A little bit of a preview for the Kansas City game. We'll get to that later this week, but the Colts will take on Kansas City at home Saturday, 435 kickoff at Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have a special guest analyst on the video later this week, so look forward to that. Thanks for coming to AnySportsCrew.com, and we'll see you again next time.